I'm Dr. Bill Tierney, and I'm the Chief of Clinical Services and the Fellowship Program Director in the Section of Gastroenterology. Well, OU Medical Center is really the only tertiary care center in about a 200-mile radius, and so we get referred the most complex and the most challenging patients in the region. And for that reason, it really is a very fertile ground for uh, teaching medicine, both at the medical student level as well as particularly the graduate medical education level. Well, in addition to being the comprehensive medical center that it is, it's really the support that trainees get from all levels. And that starts at the dean's office, to the department leadership, to the section leadership, to your colleagues within the training program. There's a tremendous uh, environment of support and it's that support that creates the environment that you really are part of the family here at OU Medicine. Yeah, one of the things that I've noticed over the last 10 years in particular is there's a lot more multidisciplinary programs on campus now and that multidisciplinary approach to medicine expands the learning opportunities but also really optimizes patient care and that's one of the messages we always want to send our trainees is that we're not individual silo departments we really have to work across departments to provide first-rate care for our patients and that communication that goes along with those multidisciplinary programs is really really critical to Well, I've been here 23 years. I do remember coming here um, with a certain degree of uncertainty about the level of academic medicine, but I was completely blown away by the level of academic medicine at, at the University of Oklahoma. Um, I uh, had trained at Yale University, University of Pennsylvania, University of Michigan, so I had a certain level of expectation, but I was not disappointed. And 23 years later, I'm still very happy to be here. Uh, and what I've seen is, is over that time, an expansion in the centers of excellence. And so the environment in, of academic medicine has really prospered here, even, over dur even during that timeline. Uh, whether it's um, the cancer center that, that's come online now in the last six years, uh, uh, with the um, uh, NCI Comprehensive Cancer Center, to the multidisciplinary vascular programs that are on campus, to the bariatric program that's now on campus. It doesn't matter what the field is, there's, there's always multiple disciplines working together. And that leads to a, a very rich academic environment. We also have very rich research programs, uh, both in our, uh, across campus, but within our department. Uh, Dr. Houchin, who is our section chief, um, is uh, an extremely well-funded researcher and has done a lot of uh, translational research that has reached across disciplines uh, and, and really across campus to, um, to prosper some of the investigative initiatives on campus. Well, um, I came here for family reasons. That's the reason we came here 23 years ago. Uh, and it really is a, uh, a wonderful place to raise a family. Um, all of our children grew up here. And I think uh, uh, from a family perspective, I couldn't think of a better place to raise a family. There's lots of communities around the Oklahoma City area that have very good school systems. There's lots of private schools in the, in the Oklahoma City area that, that are very good schools. Uh, I think also from an entertainment standpoint, um, it's become much more cosmopolitan. Uh, the, uh, the city has entertainment venues and restaurants and cultural experiences that you can find in any major city in the United States. So within the section of gastroenterology, we're really excited about the changes that are happening. Uh, we are bringing in five new faculty this academic year, and that's going to really allow us as faculty to be focused and build upon areas of, of expertise that we are all very interested in pursuing. We have nationally uh, recognized um, advanced endoscopy program in our section, and we have a, a growing program in inflammatory bowel disease and a, a reinvigorating program in 
motility and these new faculty will really add to all of that. In addition, we are going to be seeing in the next year a revitalization of our liver transplant program. So bringing new faculty in is really going to allow those programs within our section to really take off. Well, I think, as I mentioned earlier, if you come to the University of Oklahoma, you're really going to be part of a larger family, the OU family, and that support that you're going to feel is really what's going to allow that to be a very fruitful learning experience. I think um, you know, the ability to tailor your education to pursue a career path that you choose is one of the main advantages that we have in our training program. One of the things that we really focus and, and try to get our trainees to, to um, look at their future from the day they come into our training program. What do you want it to look like so that we can tailor their training experience to that? I think the people and the institution will provide the foundation for you to really craft a learning experience that will ready you for any personal and professional success. And I don't think you can ask for much more than that. And I think if you come to OU, you, won't, you will definitely realize that.